Well, if you missed Sunday night's lunar eclipse, here's your chance to see it. Marley Ginter has a look with help from the UC Davis Astronomy Club. It's not every night you get a spectacle like this in the sky. A red glow signaling a total lunar eclipse only comes once a year, twice if the timing is just right. Two things have to happen. It has to be a full moon because this uh, arrangement of the Earth between the sun and the moon is only happens at full moon. Davis Astronomy Club coordinator Benita Domeyer shed light on the fascinating phenomenon. The second condition also has to be met, where the moon has to be in what's called an ascending or descending node. So it has to be in complete straight alignment between the sun, the earth, and the moon have to be in straight line. This will be the first time I've made a serious effort to capture the blood moon um, and the first time to try and do it in Yosemite. The last time we talked with landscape photographer Brian Hawkins, he was chasing a so-called moon bow when the moonlight is refracted through water droplets in the air, creating a rainbow at night. He just released moonbow video for the first time filmed at real time speed. It's very important um, to share these experiences so that maybe people come out and want to come to Yosemite and come to wild places and connect with nature and get some time to unplug from the world and, you know, see something new. Does one lunar eclipse look better than another one? Yes, they can all be different. Whether it's a lunar eclipse or a moon bow, you may want to pay more attention to what's right above your head or one of Mother Nature's magnificent wonders may just go right over it. We go about our daily lives and don't look up. So stuff like this is a chance to stop and look up and see that there's amazing things in the sky.